I like to think of food as a poem by Ezra Pound, but it is just food. That's a poem that I got an AI to write. So what happens when you actually get an AI to write a haiku, or ask it to write a haiku? That's the question that I'm going to try to answer in this video by getting OpenAI's GPT-3, which is right here in the background on my monitor, to write a bunch of haikus. And we're going to go read over those haikus and then, you know, read looking at it from a critical lens, like we're in 11th grade English and see what the haikus are like. What's the quality like? What are the themes, you know, do some real analysis of these poems. Um, I don't have a ton of high hopes um, for what the poems end up looking like. But I do think they'll be coherent. I don't know if they'll be, you know, uh, like Walt Whitman's works, but they'll be decent enough. So let's get straight into it. I think it's safe to say that poetry is a pretty human thing, that writing in general is a pretty human thing to do. Being able to write and express somebody's emotions in text in a way that other humans can connect with it and, and you know, really enjoy somebody else's work of writing. So getting an AI to be able to write a poem that, you know, even halfway decent is pretty cool, but it's important to keep in mind that GPT-3 really doesn't think it's the best, most dumbed down way to explain it is that it's just a really, really, really great autocomplete. It's not thinking anything. It's just been trained on a very large portion of the internet using a lot of computing power. So it's able to do really, really nice autocomplete for certain tasks. Um, and that's what we're going to be looking at, how it'll autocomplete poems. Uh, also, if you don't know what a haiku is, uh, we'll go into that later, but haikus are just uh, usually three line poems where the first line is five syllables long, second line is seven syllables long, and the last one is five syllables long. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but I don't think any of the haikus that the AI actually produced follow that format. Um, they're close, but the syllables don't exactly match up. So before we actually get into looking at individual haikus, uh, let's look at a poem uh, that it wrote. Uh, it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty decently long poem. And the way it worked was I said, the following is a poem titled The Happy Bird. And then I let the AI just go on from there and autocomplete. So the AI first gave a brief description of the poem, and then it actually wrote the poem out. So the following is a poem titled The Happy Bird. That's where I wrote. And now this is where the AI starts by William Blake. It depicts the eponymous bird as being trapped by what the speaker believes is ill-advised materialism. Now let's read the poem that it wrote. The earwig song, the grasshopper song, the happy birds in the wood are silent. The little streamlet of death creeps o'er the veil at my feet and withers the grass. The moonlight is sickly and pale and the stars are dying. The owls hoot in the old ruins and the foxes are wailing, and the little streamlet of death creeps o'er the veil at my feet, and withers the grass, and withers the grass. Shall I not be weary? Shall I never be weary? And that's the end of the poem. Um, it's definitely really nicely written, you know? It's nicely written. Um, and I'm pretty sure an English teacher could take some time out of their day and do a thematic analysis of what the poem actually means and what it's talking about. I don't know. If it's talking about a bird being trapped by what the speaker believes is ill-advised materialism, but if somebody wanted to, they could draw that conclusion and probably find the evidence to back it up. It's also worth noting that William Blake is an actual, well, was an actual poet, um, and uh, I'm pretty sure his writing may have matched uh, the style here, but it probably didn't. If somebody wants to fact check me and look that up, that'd be cool, um, and maybe figure out what you found out and leave it in the comments. So let's actually move on to what you guys clicked on the video for, um, the haikus that the poem, uh, that the AI writes. Uh, I did this, I did a very similar task where I got the AI to um, write college application essays um, and fill out Stanford's application in one of my previous videos. You should probably see a link up to that here. And there'll also be one in the description if you want to check that out after you watch this one. But let's read the haikus that it wrote. That it wrote. So the way this worked was uh, I gave it a prompt uh, that was something like the following is a haiku written about X, um, where X is a topic. And then I just let it generate <laughs> for a while. Um, and it began with me saying the follow is the following is a haiku written about technology. And then I just let it generate a bunch of haikus uh, using that format. So the prompt I gave it was the following is a haiku written about technology. And it then produced, I love to think of time as an ever rolling stream but the stream is dry. 
Uh, I think I love to think of time as an ever rolling stream is, is it's like a that's a line or very similar to a line from a religious poem uh, written a while ago is, is something uh, that's meant to be like a hymn but I don't know what this exact haiku means um, and let's go into some other more interesting haikus that I wrote. The following is a haiku written about you. This is my prompt to the AI, and this is what the AI ended up writing. I love to think of food as a poem by Ezra Pound, but it is just food. Um, that's pretty deep. Uh, food is just food. It's not a poem. And, you know, I think I think that could get a lot of retweets on Twitter. I think this is a banger, and it could get a lot of retweets on Twitter. Um, and I feel like somebody's probably written something similar to this. And from here on out, it's just the AI coming up with its own topics and writing a bunch of haikus. So let's go through those. The following is a haiku written about the future. I love to think of the future as a place of infinite possibility, but it is already here. That's really deep too. You know, this is something you put up on the wall as like a motivational, uh, as a motivational poster. And I just think it will work great, you know? You know, seize the, seize the moment. The future is already here, guys. It's a Silicon Valley tech slogan, you know? Here's another one, this time about the past, not the future. You'll notice that there's a trend amongst the, amongst this AI that write a lot about the past and the future and nature. It does. It made a lot of poems about these topics, um, and I only picked the best or the most interesting to me. So the following is haiku written about the past. I love to, the think, of, I love to think of the past as a land full of mystery, but it is gone. I, that's another deep, that's another deep poem, man. It's doing really well so far. I'm definitely wondering, I'm definitely thinking that a poem could, that this AI could definitely, you know, write a book and pass it off as something that somebody else wrote. This, this is pretty human writing. Here's another one about technology. The following is a haiku written about technology. I love to think of technology, um, as a land full of wisdom, but it is a wasteland. I had to double check to make sure that actually made sense because it doesn't really make sense. Um, but hey, it's possible that somebody wrote this if somebody was trying to be extra deep. From now on, I gave the AI a few prompts, like a few topics to write about, and then it wrote a haiku on that topic. So my prompt was the following is a haiku written about the joy of running. And here's what the AI ended up responding to that prompt with. My body moves with the fluid grace of a stream in the mountains, but I'm a mannequin. Um, you know, that is definitely on the topic of running. I don't know if it encapsulates the joy of running, but it's definitely about running. I then told it to write a haiku about programming. And it said, I love to read books about programming, but code is just so much text and I am a robot. Oh, some self-awareness. It's not really self-awareness. Again, it's just autocomplete. Um, but again, that's a pretty, it's decent, you know? People can, this, if you read this, you wouldn't necessarily, your first thought wouldn't be that an AI wrote it. You would think, oh, it's just a guy trying to be really deep on the internet. And then the final haiku topic that I gave it was the following is a haiku about the art of writing. And the AI writes, Writing is a battle between my will and the cruel indifference of the world, but it is just words. I, you know, this sounds like it might have just picked it up from somebody on the internet and just pasted it down and called it its own work, um, but I don't think it is. I looked it up and I couldn't find anything. I think this one is really nice. I think this is my uh, favorite haiku of the bunch uh, because, you know, it's, it's like fake deep, but it still sounds nice. I think my favorite overall poem was the first one that we read. I just liked it a lot the way it was written. But after this, the AI wrote one final haiku that I didn't give it a topic for. It just came up with a topic on its own and um, wrote out a haiku in three lines. So the following is a haiku about understanding. I love to think of understanding as a kind of communion, but I am alone. That's another deep, that's another deep poem. Um, so I would say the AI in general Really, really nailed um, being somebody who's trying to write deep poems, you know, using a lot of nice metaphors, um, really 
personifying a lot of things that shouldn't be personified and making it so that people are, you know, they're like, wow, this guy's deep. He's really thinking, really thinking. And these are definitely the types of things somebody would tell you to read on the internet and say it really makes you think. Um, but I am a fan of the first film. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, it's really nicely, well, not written. It's, it's really nicely made. Um, I mean, I liked it. It's an enjoyable read. Now, in general, um, obviously, I don't really know what this means uh, for like poetry as a whole. Probably nothing, because again, a lot of this, if you tried to find, do like a thematic analysis and really identify what the author meant by their work, you wouldn't really find much beyond the surface level. You'd see something like, oh, you know, it's just a kid trying to be fake deep on the internet. And, you know, this is something, a lot of the haikus are things that a middle schooler would write for their English class, um, thinking it was really deep, when in reality it just was, you know, it was a nice try. Um, there are other people on the internet um, that have tried uh, to get GPT-3 to write good uh, poems. And I think it's easier for it to write a good poem than it is for it to write a good haiku. Um, and I'll leave a link to a lot of different poems written by GPT-3 uh, in the description down below if you want to check those out. And I think it's worth doing so because it's pretty cool to see what an AI can come up with. But, you know, if I, if I was an English teacher... If I was gonna grade this, I'd give the first poem. I'd give the first. I'd give the first poem an A. Uh, after that, I'd give the collection of haikus. If they're turning in a collection of haikus, I'd probably give it a B. You know, if I'm being generous, because they're not really good. Um, if you guys want to try doing a thematic analysis of these poems and haikus, then go for it. Uh, just send me a link, and then I'll probably uh, put it in a future video because it'd probably be very funny to do so. Uh, you can join my Discord if you want to talk about what the AI actually made. And if you want to give me suggestions on what else you want to see um, the AI do. I actually got the idea for this video from GPT-3. I fed it in a bunch of titles and ideas that I already had, and then it generated some more. And one of those were, what happens when an AI is asked to write a haiku? Keep in mind, all the poems you saw in here were AI generated and they don't really represent the values of OpenAI as a company. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to catch up to what I'm working on, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description. I'm at SitCodes on Twitter and TikTok. I make a lot of, you know, programming-related TikToks that are sometimes funny and sometimes really stupid. If you want to give me suggestions on what type of content you want to see, or just flame me, then join my Discord. If you want to find a like-minded community of people, or just flame me, like I already said. And as always, have a great one, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.